Scott. Okay. Uh, Scott has uh, uh, recently announced the 2018 hosting of the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team, otherwise known as WWAST in Dayton. It'll be October 2018 and uh, will feature between game ceremonies honoring the Miami Valley Gold Star families. Uh, in 2018, he took uh, members of Gold Star families around the bases of Ron Nischwitz Baseball Stadium to receive thanks and tribute. He expects this to be respectful but joyous, somewhat sad but healing, and our support will be a comfort to those families. It's also worth sharing that his uh, 2018 event will again serve as a fundraiser for Fisher Nightingale House, Honor Flight Dayton, the WWAST Kids Camp, and new to 20, in 2018. Uh, they're looking forward to support very serious issue of veteran military suicides, which are reputed to be occurring on average more than 20 a day. Scott, should we wait now? That <laughs> What do you think? Ready? Ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, so thanks for the invite, a, a repeat invite. Um, we, we are an all-volunteer committee of people like you all in the local area that are softball people and veteran community. And we'd heard about the Wounded Warrior amputee softball team some years ago because they'd been in Cincinnati and they'd been to Toledo, but they'd never been to Dayton. So we invited them to Dayton and they came here in 2016. And when I first heard about them and talked with their director, who's located in Virginia, he said, we're not coming to Dayton for us. We're coming for you. So we knew pretty pretty quickly that we, when we hosted them, we would make it into a fundraiser. And that first year, we made it into a Fisher House fundraiser because the Fisher House was building their new facility out the Dayton VA. And in year one, in 2016, we were we were blessed to have made the expenses to bring the team in because these are a bunch of amputee players from all over the country. So they got a player that lives in Maine and they got a player in Virginia and they got a player in Lexington and they got a player from California and we pay their expenses to come into town. We made enough to cover the expenses and we contributed 11 grand to the new Fisher House out at Dayton VA. Wow. And I got to tell you, we found out they were coming to Dayton in January, and we played in May. So there was somebody in town who was laying awake at night, staring at the ceiling, worrying to death that we would just make enough to pay them to come to town. But we sold tickets. Uh, we had a, we had a lot of support from the local community, organizations like yours. Um, Edelman Financial contributed substantially, Morgan Stanley. We got a lot of help and we were delighted. And in year two, not that we're competitive or anything, but in year two, our goal was to do better. So in 2017, we brought them back in October and we had a whole much more time to work with to raise funds. And in 2017, we hosted in October out at Wright State, and we ended up giving eight grand to Fisher House, four grand to Honor Flight, and five grand to send a Dayton area amputee to the Wounded Warrior Kids Camp. And they're going to go this year. That kids camp usually has been in Florida. Then for a couple of years, it was in D.C. This year, it's in New Hampshire. So we did really good, and not that we're competitive, but we want to do even better in 2018. So they're coming back in October of 2018, and the routine for this this is a this is a whole group of it's kind of co-ed. You you all may have seen in the Dayton Daily News, Tom Archdeacon did a special on one of their players. Danielle Green is a female player who lost a limb and she's on the team and she competed this past year 
The team came into town, and what we typically do is two exhibition games, typically one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and, and the competition will be a combination of military guys off right bat, first responders, some, some of the fire department, the police, and the other game will be the Dayton Legends Softball Club. So that's a bunch of old guys still playing softball. But I got to tell you, and, and, and those games were very competitive, uh, especially this past year, because the Dayton Legends really picked guys that are advanced age, and they picked all veterans to, to play against this team. And the games were very competitive. We made more money. We were delighted. But the highlight of, of this event is between the two exhibition games, in 2016, we did the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War, and we we created a routine that is based off Joe Nuxall's old sign-off for the Cincinnati Reds. Each broadcast, he signed off by saying, this is the old left-hander rounding third and headed for home. So we did a routine where we took Vietnam veterans around each base, and they received thanks and a memento from Fisher House, from the base, and and VBA 97 in Huber Heights was our was our sponsor those first two years, and they got a 50th anniversary pin. And that routine, uh, Dr. Hardy was at home and he did the welcome home routine. In 2017, we replicated that, but we invited all the veteran service organizations in the area to send representatives. So the Legion, the VFW, the AMVETS, DAV, they sent post or chapter representatives, we limited them to two, to go around the bases. And this year, we're gonna replicate that again between the two games and we're gonna be honoring Gold Star families. Now these are, these are the families that have lost somebody in service. Could be a son, could be a daughter, uh, could be a father, could be a mother, uncles, whatever. Gold Star um, families are all around the community and we really hope that they will come out and if you, if you have members that are gold stars of your organization, we would love to get the word out. What we're really doing, the reason I'm really here is to get the word out, just so people know what's going on. And we have a variety of fundraisers like this city barbecue fundraiser is next, next Tuesday. If you're gonna eat lunch, Al, if you're gonna eat lunch someplace, eat it at city barbecue next Tuesday. and show them Show them that flyer. Can we use my discount card? No. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> but you got to have that flyer that's got the barcode on it. It's good either in Centerville or Beaver Creek. Okay. And 25% of the proceeds from everybody who shows up with that flyer will go to our host committee to help us pay those expenses. So we're pushing that. We're also going to have a golf outing. So... We're helping with the Bob Childs Memorial Golf Outing in May. I've got one of the Wounded Warrior amputee softball players, the one who lives in Lexington, will drive up for that outing in May, and, and we will promote our outing, which is in July. So we'll have a Wounded Warrior softball golf outing in July. I made a promise. I'm not stepping on the May outing, but, but we hope to build momentum between now, the now, two outings. Is that the closest Wounded Warrior player in Lexington? It turns out that's the closest one. Now, Danielle Green, uh, the young lady that was here last year and was featured in the Dayton Daily News, she lives in South Bend. And, and when they came to town, we got on her and, and we learned that she was trying to learn to play golf. Now, her amputee, she's amputated on one arm so she's trying to learn how to play golf. So we invited Danielle to come and play in our outing as well. 
but I, she's not quite ready, she said. She's just not sure she wants to. better than me. Yeah, so, and, and of course, golf outings are not about golfing. They're really about raising funds. So, we're looking forward to, to raising funds. We'd love for the group, your group, to, to just collaborate with us. Let, get the word out. So, Tony's been gracious enough to, to post our stuff on the internet this has been broadcast out to people everybody you know if you're a member of another club get the word out and and it all goes to a good cause we're not a 501c3 ourselves we're just a bunch of softball guys if you will but all our charities so we can uh, make copies of this and give it yes to you them. can okay. yes you can what what i can't do is stand in line and hand them out or it'll bust the whole deal so yes distribute that wherever you like and as long as the truth is at city barbecue if you were to walk up and say i'm here because of that they'll take care they'll they'll, yeah, they're, nice they, they're good about it could this be posted on facebook yes okay. yes it will be uh we should have had our uh meeting here on tuesday for a golf committee it might not be too late. You never know. That's that's not a bad idea. I mean, we just had one. Now, this year in 2018, uh, Tony's little warm-up blurb hinted at, we, we did Fisher House, and then in year two, we expanded to Fisher House and Honor Flight. And our committee decided that we want to add another beneficiary and this year, we've been looking for someone who's local to this area. Our mission is honoring our veterans and helping our community with the emphasis on our. And we, our committee was really concerned about the serious issue of veteran military suicides. We're losing something like 23 every day. So we reached out in the local community and what we've come up with is an organization that's really out of the Hamilton area called Combat Outpost Robinson. And this, is, this turns out to be a Gold Star father who set up a 501c3 that is working PS, PTSD and, and suicide issues, suicide prevention. So Combat Outpost Robinson is going to be our third beneficiary. They're joining our committee and they're going to be helping us with fundraisers. So you all you all may get may get broadcasts about a fundraiser that they're running and we'll be partnering with them. So uh, there's a lot going on. We've got we've got lots of room for help. People that you know uh, that want to help out companies that might want to get involved. We've got a program. We sell ads in the program, needless to say. We have a corporate sponsor packet uh, that, I can, that I can provide to any company. I just dropped one off at, at Anger Clinic on my OEO over here. So whoever you know, it's all about collaboration. Whoever you know that you could reach that might be interested in this, interested in sports, interested in a bunch of athletes who are just delighted to be able to stand for the national anthem. Happy to be able to do that. Thank so thank you for the, for the help, whatever help you can give, and uh, spread the word. Awesome. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Now, I do not see a time. Maybe I missed it. I'm looking all over.